Hey nesters, welcome back to Nesting Haven. Today I'm sharing with you a Goodwill thrift haul. Most of the items I am sharing with you today, I will be reselling online in either my Etsy or eBay stores. Both of those are linked down below. If you happen to see anything you're interested in, they might still be available. So the first thing I picked up was some St. Patrick's Day kind of items here. They had this trinket box. It's a handmade, hand-painted ceramic piece it has a little leprechaun on it and the shamrock they only had two dollars priced on it he's all taped up here but i'm pretty sure he's in pretty good condition i should be able to get about 18 to 22 for him with shipping included in the price this one is super cute as well it has this little pixie as part of the handle this one was only priced a dollar it's just a nice little stein has the shamrock on the front here and yeah, it's super clean. So I just could not leave that behind. Super cute. Again, probably around that 18 to 22 with shipping included. The last St. Patrick's Day decor I picked up is this little hat with the shamrock on it. And it is a planter. I'm going to go ahead and keep this one myself. It was priced $2. And yeah, I don't have a lot of St. Patrick's Day decor. We do host a Irish dinner every once in a while. We either do it ourselves or we've had people over before in the past. So it'd be nice to add this to our tablescape. So I think that'll be kind of cute to do. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and keep that. I love picking up these vintage lady figurines here. She's kind of Victorian, I would say. Her dress is absolutely beautiful. She has these florals throughout it, which is really nice, and a little bit of blue. She's holding an umbrella here. She doesn't seem to be have been re-glued or anything like that. Oftentimes you have to look very closely because sometimes the arms are a little jacked up and they've been re-glued, but she seems to be in her original condition. They had $4 priced on her. I think I can get about 18 to 22 for her as well. I did find one Christmas item that I could not leave behind. It's this beautiful Scottish Santa. He has the bagpipes, the little Scotty dog here, and the kilt, of course, so super cute. I thought it was really well done. It does appear to be a hand-painted piece. It looks like someone either made it in 71 or 91. I can't quite make out what that number is there. And they only had $2 priced on it. I saw one very similar to this sell for $49.99 plus shipping. And I don't think I'm gonna ask quite that much for it, but I think I am gonna try it around $38 with shipping included. And we'll see how it goes for that. It's pretty unique, so I think it's worth it. I love to pick up the figurines and it seems I've been on a dry spell with those lately. So I was happy that I found a few. The last one I picked up is a clown. <laughs> He's playing croquet, it looks like. He has the little croquet stick and then i only paid two dollars for him i just thought he was kind of cute usually you don't see him so plump and i just like the colors to him so i thought it was kind of fun there he'll probably get me about 20 to 24 dollars with shipping included i did find this really cool cast iron trivet with the beautiful strawberry tile in it they only had two dollars priced on it they do have a lot of these listed you know, the iron trivets listed, but I couldn't find any in the strawberry design. Strawberries are pretty popular. They're a little bit more sought after, I think. They're pretty universal as far as, you know, kitchen decor. It's a food item, so it goes well with anyone's kitchen, really. And I think I can get about $25 for this guy with shipping included. Staying with my strawberry theme, I found this bowl here and I thought it was absolutely gorgeous. It is a pretty good size as well. And there is a maker mark on the bottom, but I'm highly confused by what it says. It has the letters C-E-I-S and then a, you know, a period and then a O-R-I-C-G-O, -O, so like Cease Orgo or something like that. And it does have 8487, which is usually a product number of how many they made, and it says USA. So it is an older piece. I know it's vintage. I don't know the maker. It's, you know, like a McCoy style quality, and I just don't know what it is. So if you guys happen to know 
what this indication means, that would be super helpful. I'll try to show you it up close here in case you couldn't understand what I was saying there. But I just really liked it. They only had $3 on it. I do have to do some more research on it to see what it might be worth, but I will be listing it up on either my Etsy or eBay, even though I am tempted to keep it. One thing I am keeping is this beautiful Sam Berger vase here. This was put out in 1972 and I just love the design to it. It almost looks like cheetah print in the way that, you know, they have the different sizes of the spots, I guess, on it. It's super pretty. I've never seen it before, so I was happy to get that for only $2. Definitely a good find. I will add it to my collection. The next items I picked up was this really cool set of casserole dishes put out by Cording Wear. They have these cherries on it, but they are part of the Fruit Basket collection. The Fruit Basket collection also features apples and grapes, so you can find the these style dishes with those fruits as well, and sometimes they are mixed together on bigger platters. But yeah, I really love this Cording Wear design. It's one of my favorites. And I was contemplating whether I wanted to sell these or not because I do enjoy them. They only had them priced at a dollar a piece, so four dollars I paid for the set. I think I'm going to sell them in two sets of two for about twenty-two dollars with shipping included. I found this really neat statue. It's a pretty good size here, and you guys will have to let me know if you would describe her as a Victorian lady or a Southern belle. I didn't quite know what to make of her. She's very beautiful though. She has this kind of lacy looking detailing to her dress and she's holding her little bonnet. She only was marked $3 and she's in pretty good overall condition. There is just a little chip on the back here and there is a little piece of paint or something in her back hairline. I think it's just paint and it might come off. But I thought she was really nice. She's a good size statue and I think I can get about $38 for her with shipping included. I did find one more knickknack statue and it is so stinking cute. It's this dapper little rabbit here. He has glasses and he's just so cute. How adorable is that? I've never seen one like this before and he's really well painted. He has a hand painted ceramic piece. There is no indication of dates on it. It does have a Hassinger, Hassinger mold. I've never heard of that mold company, so maybe that's why I've never seen it. But super, super cute. I love his little hat and his glasses and his little suit his bow tie, everything about him. He's very cute. I asked my husband how much he thought we should list this guy for. He's like, I don't know, $85. <laughs> I was like, uh, he's probably worth that, but I'm probably leaning towards the $48 range. He's pretty unique. I know some people on eBay do get good money for things like this, so maybe I could try it at his $85, but I would expect to get about $48 for him with shipping included. I did pick up something that is a little bit more primitive and not vintage that I'm probably going to just sell here locally or I may toss it up on eBay, but I just thought it was pretty cute. It's kind of farmhousey, and I can get into that stuff. I, I, I like it. <laughs> so it's this here. It's this little stacked wooden animal. I don't know if you'd call it a wreath really, but it's just a nice little wall decor piece. I thought it was cute. They had $3 priced on it. I think I could probably get about $15 to maybe $18 for it. And I'll see how it does here locally first. But if anyone is interested in it, definitely leave me a message below and I can go ahead and list it for you. This next item, I think I might have got it at one of the other Goodwills I went to this day. I went to four, so the stuff was jumbled in my car. And I think I did pretty good, but this one might have came from a different store. But it's okay. <laughs> it's just a bag I picked up and I thought it was super, super nice. The brand is Shia Leah Chicago. They had $5 priced on it. It has these little anchors on the inside for lining. There's a couple of pockets on the inside as well. And I just love the red, white, and blue to it. And it has this kind of leather look. I just really liked it overall. It has both the hand straps and the shoulder strap. The shoulder strap isn't super long, but you can still put it on your shoulder. I've tried it. This is something I'm considering keeping, so we'll see what ends up happening. It'll either end up on my eBay or I'm gonna keep it. I like the size to it, and as a mama of two, I kinda need something this big. <laughs> 
And for $6, I picked up this beautiful afghan. I love this little detailing they put on it. Otherwise, it would have been pretty plain looking, but they put these little balls all throughout it, and I just thought it added a nice touch. This is super heavy. It's a really nice quality. I don't know the type of yarn they used. It's not that kind of itchy style yarn. It is It's a cross between that and paracord. I don't know what that is called. I'm not super familiar with the types of yarn, but maybe you guys could help me out. You probably know exactly what it is. It's really nicely made. I think I'm gonna go ahead and put this on my couch and see if it's the right size. If it doesn't work for me, I will go ahead and list it for sale, but either way, it was definitely a fantastic find. That is everything from this thrift haul. Be sure to let me know in the comments below what item I picked up that was your favorite. And I hope you guys enjoyed this four part series of going to a few different Goodwills. And I had a lot of fun checking them out. They, you know, there were some hits and misses, but overall I found some good items and I was happy that I made the trip down. So if you guys want to see more thrift along with me's and thrift hauls and you're new to my channel, be sure you subscribe. I am going back to my original Goodwill. It has opened back up for business after renovations. So those will be my next videos. I'm gonna review the handpicked selection and also take you along shopping with me. It'll probably be a two or three part series there as well because I haven't been to the store, it's brand new. So there's gonna be a lot to look through. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.